Welcome into the DML Network and another episode of the Bye Week. I got two guys that need to come on here and talk about their squads. We got a new guy in the dynasty, and we got a former Super Bowl champion on the show today. Uh, and we're going to chop it up with them. But we'll start over there in the NFC with Kirk and those Green Bay Packers. What's up, Kirk? <laughs> What's up, man? How's it going? Thanks man, for having me. It's, uh, it's good to have you on the show. Welcome to the bye week. And let's talk Green Bay Packers. So, so give me give me the lowdown. What is going on with the Green Bay Packers this season, and the struggles that you're seeing on both sides of the football? That's a that's a good question. You know, honestly, my I feel like my offense had played pretty well, other than the fact we haven't been able to get it into the end zone. There's been a couple of games where I think I do that just play the not the Bears. Well, that game was. I got my butt whipped, um, but I uh, played the Vikings and I think I won 10-3, but the final, I moved the ball up and down the field all over them and I, I just can't punch into the end zone, which is crazy considering I have Colbert, who's a red zone monster in theory. But Yeah, you had I mean, 355 yards of offense in that game, but you only had 46 rushing yards. So. That's my big thing. We always hear about Colbert, about how he's this great running back, but then he has games where he has less than 50 yards rushing. Uh, and if you go back and look at him, he, he's had some decent games, but nothing that just jumps off the screen and wows you. What is it about this guy that just makes you think he's the greatest running back that you've seen? Honestly, um, since the first season, I've kind of backed off that a little bit. I even had him on the trade block a little bit earlier this season. Since last season, when he missed, I think he ended up missing 13 games between his two injuries last year. Um, he has not felt like the same running back this season. He has good runs, but he just doesn't feel like he's the same player he was that year on whenever he was running over everybody breaking off big runs now i have been facing 10 or 11 guys in the box whenever he's in the game compared to whenever penny's in the game there's only eight guys in the box um so it, it's an adjustment and i think i've had to learn to pass more which i've been doing this season um prior to my bye week rogers was actually leading the league in passing yards but the interceptions have been killing me a little bit but no colbert i don't know um the injuries are starting to pile up he's actually been injured in every game this season he hasn't missed a lot of time but he's missed at least a quarter um well he actually played the whole game against the bears but i didn't run a lot that game and i'm glad you brought up a a ron rogers the quarterback that is now 138 years old he's in his yes. he's in his 86th season there in green bay it, is this it for Aaron Rodgers? He's got to retire after this year. Do, do you have a plan in place? Is the backup quarterback ready to step in as Leonard and, and take the reins of this Green Bay Packer team? Well, I hope so. I hope Aaron Rodgers retires. I really wanted them to retire last season. I don't think there was any um, question how much I hated Aaron Rodgers last season. Now, I did figure out what was wrong with Aaron Rodgers, I think. Somebody, whoever the old Packers users was, changed his um, throwing style, and I changed it back, and he's throwing the ball a lot better. Um, now, Leonard is a guy who I really like. He played great for me in the preseason. Um, I think he threw seven touchdowns, two picks in the preseason. He's played a couple games. I put him in this past game against the Bears. He threw one nice touchdown pass. He did have two picks. One was my fault. Um, but he's a guy I got in the fourth round who has star de development. I think I can build him up. Um, the question is I have this season. Now, I'm two and four is whether I just put him in now because he's gonna it's gonna be easier to build a guy that's playing and getting that xp yeah. or if i just ride him out ride out rogers for another year because it's hard to bench a guy who's 93 overall and making 24 million dollars yeah but but if you got a guy that you think is going to take the reins over next year or whenever aaron Rodgers decides he's done trying to play quarterback is, is it that point where you feel like he's got to learn trial by fire at this point because if you look at your roster you're very very young in key areas i mean you have you have a couple veterans on this team that are still playing 
Um, your secondary is not the youngest in the dynasty. Um, but your linebacker core, your D-line, your, your offensive line, pretty young all the way around. Why not let the young guy step in and take over, make it his team? Are, are, you, are you still in that mode where we got a chance to make a run and make the playoffs, and so I'm going to see what Aaron Rodgers can do for me? You know, that's what I was looking at, because if you look at my upcoming schedule, oh, we'll, I we'll think get, there's... We'll get to the upcoming schedule here in a okay. second. <laughs> Well, I, I think there's some winnable games, so that's the thing I'm trying to decide what's best for me in the future. I think, I mean, for future, it'd probably be smart to start put the 21-year-old in, let them learn. Although I have had some concerns, my offensive line is being built. Like I have all drafted guys in there. Um, I think the oldest one is 26. I have my last two first-round picks, um, killing it up there for me. Um, but. I've been getting sacked way more than I'm used to. Um, they were doing pretty good up until the Bears game, and Cole Mack um, had, had a had a good game against yeah, me. And kind of he does that versus everybody. That's not because of your offensive line. That's because he's Khalil Mack. All right, let's talk about this schedule. You, you okay. came off the bye week. Tough, tough game versus the Bus. Who, if anybody asks me, he is a top five, top ten user in the dynasty. I know he's very humble. But, you know, him and tight work and sweets, that, that, that group is up there. But you come out, you come out after, after this week and you have the Lions. Is that a winnable game uh, going back as, as you get to see Taz twice a year? Is that a winnable game for you? Um, I, I think so. I'm, I was actually very frustrated in my first game against Taz. Usually, um, I feel like that's a game I have to win every time I play him. Um, not that Taz is a bad opponent. It's just my style matches up well with his. Uh, he struggles against the run, and I, I normally run all over him. Um, this past game, I couldn't do anything on either side of the ball and he just tore me to shreds um so I, I do think that's not only a winnable game it's a must win game if i want any chance of turning the season around all right so we're gonna we're gonna no disrespect to the og taz we're gonna put that down as a w and that's going to put you at three and four all right the next three games are all games that can go either way you got underrated and the redskins you got solomon and the jets and then you got, um, you got the, the monster from down under this year, the Vikings. It, do you feel like this four-game stretch here, this is what is going to determine whether Aaron Rodgers stays at quarterback or we see the rookie Leonard take over? Yeah, definitely. I, I would say even the next game, I plan on starting Rodgers. And if he struggles at all, um, I'm going to make the switch and stick with it. Um but definitely, if I if I lose more than one or two of these games, because um, this this is a big stretch. These three games are at home too, um, and then later down, I have this brutal um, six game yeah. or five game road stretch. So I need to get these games. But if if I struggle in these games, it's going to be time to get to Leonard. I'm already considering it. Um, but I'm trying to hold off on it because I feel like these are winnable games. And as of right now, I think Rodgers gives me the best chance to win. Yeah, and then you got a tough stretch to end the year. You got, um, you know, you got comeback C Rob in the Panthers, your your last home game of the year, and then in a five week span, you get the Bears sandwiched. You got the Bills. That's a winnable game with skill trade. But then you get. Jay and the Seahawks, you get Matty Ice and the Eagles, and then you get the trap game in week 17, a game nobody wants to lose. And no, I'm not talking about King Flair. I'm talking about HBO and the Cowboys. Yeah. Which and, one of and those the games scares you the most? Is is the Bear game scary or the fact you don't want to lose the HBO in week 17? Well, the the funny thing is, I haven't beat. I've played HBO twice, and he's beat me both times. Oh my gosh! Um, I know. We got like to talk strategy. You got to hit my DM. I, we can talk I know. strategy. 
I, I just don't know what it is that, like, my, my secondary against him, they just, it's the people that are throwing up the balls. Like, my secondary just doesn't play them. I probably, in hindsight, should have kept Jair Alexander um, mm -hmm. because since I got rid of him, my secondary has not been the same. I did make a big trade for Josh Johnson, though, and he's, or John Johnson, he's been killing it for me. He's had an interception, I think, in every game since I got him. Um, so that's helped a little bit. So I'm hoping to turn that around. Um, I'd say the biggest or the most interesting game on there is the Eagles game, just because Matty Ice is the only person on my schedule that I haven't played before. Yeah, he's dangerous. That's one of yeah. those guys that, that he can put up 50 on you in a heartbeat, and you're eating nuggets from the bus. Uh, and so you got to be careful with that one. Okay, do we see the Green Bay Packers in the playoffs this year? Um, I want to say I hope so. Um, I'm going to do give everything I have. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it. I got off to a bad stretch where I thought I lost a couple games early to the Lions and the Patriots that I felt I needed to win yeah. um, in order to make the playoffs. So I don't know. But especially in the NFC, the NFC is tough over here. Um, we have, I think, what, three undefeated teams still left in the NFC. So it, it's it's tough um i don't think i'm gonna make the playoffs but i'm gonna give everything i have to try and make the playoffs i'm I not like counting myself that. out just yet i like to hear that and there is only one undefeated team left in the nfl and that's the Arizona Arizona one? Cardinals. that's it okay now you got the bears at six and one uh you got the vikes at four and one of course you know addy five the back to back to back super bowl champion at four and one um so, you know, you got some teams that are still balling over there in the NFC and definitely some, some top guys. All right, one last question. We'll let Kirk get out of here. Way too early pick for Madden 20. If you had a, if you could pick any team, who would you pick going into Madden 20? Um, I would probably go it, – it's hard. Um, I'm, I'm in a weird situation. I'm from Pittsburgh. I'm, I love the Steelers. But my favorite team is actually the Raiders. Um, and I, I try to keep it with the teams I like. Like, I don't like going. Um, I think the Steelers are going to be missing my two favorite players next year. So I would I'd probably go with the Raiders because I think they're going to be a fun rebuild project. Wow. HBO, did you hear that? The Raiders – want to go to Kirk and not to you. That is uh, HBO's favorite team, even though he had a chance to pick them last year and he picked the Eagles. I mean, the Cowboys. I know he wishes he had picked the Raiders just as much as I wish I would have picked the Cowboys instead of Jackson. All right, Kirk, man, appreciate you jumping on. Anything you got for the dynasty before you get out of here? No, man. I'm just glad to be here. I'm looking forward to putting out the second episode of the highlight reel, so everybody send me your highlights and um, get us some highlights but thanks for having me this is my first show I've actually got to come on um, so I appreciate that you having me hey man you did a great job all right guys that is Kirk and those Green Bay Packers fighting to get into the playoffs this year Aaron Rodgers holding on as long as possible maybe he'll retire this year all right one last guest here on the bye week for today's show and it's the OG it's the Super Bowl champ banner hanging even though he says they're dusty it's KP in those Kansas City Chiefs what's up KP what up what up what up man thanks for having me how you doing expert man, anytime I can get an OG like you on the show always a blast how you been man it's been it's been a struggle in Madden 19 for the OG Okay, but you got your name back. The bus has changed. You're the only <laughs> KP. Was was that giving you some fire last year to kind of like say I gotta prove I'm the only KP in the dynasty? Because you kind of you kind of laid an egg this year in Madden 19. Let me get the dust off. Uh, we, 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 we 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 all right. Uh, I think it was just a, a good rivalry we created amongst ourselves. Yeah, yeah. Uh, nice to have somebody that you can talk shit to, and it doesn't take it personal or get in their feelings. So uh, uh, I low key miss it, but uh, I got a good uh, respect for Bus, man. Yeah, that's shout good. out, shout out, Bus. That's <laughs> definitely a good guy over there. We love the Bus and what he's doing here in the dynasty. All right, man. Let's talk Kansas City Chiefs, man. You, you, you got a loaded roster over there in KC. What is? What is? Don't don't start that. You got 
you got. Hold on now. You got. I think I think the weapons look good, but the the offensive line is trash. My cornerbacks are trash. My second or my DBs or my safeties are trying to get their stuff together, but I just I did a really shitty job with uh, building my team. To be honest, I was so focused on getting a, a high powered offense that now my defense is kind of like MIA. I mean, you got such a powerful offense. You got Travis Kelsey at fullback? What is, yeah. What, what is that? So, I know he's going to start declining by the time we get no. to high stakes. So, I prepared a little bit early. Yeah. And so, I thought I could try and build up Hooper. But, I mean, if, if you, I mean, everybody watches my games. It's no secret. I don't utilize the tight end enough. Yeah. So, uh, it's, it's really not a position of need for me. I probably should have traded him. Uh, and got something for it because I mean having him at, at tight end, even having Gronk on my roster right now, it's more just for the blocking yeah. uh, and tight end aspect of anything. Yeah, and you've always been known as that guy that can build a roster. You, mm. You've been known as as the guru oh, of trading, of, of building, and your, your offense. It just seems like it's struggling in that category. What is holding you back in 19, and why is it so much different than 18? Is is the real estate business that good for KP that he can't focus <laughs> on the Chiefs? Um, you know, we, you know, we hear the fam in the background. We know that 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 that's such a key part of your life. Um, you know, you know, we love that you're a family guy. Uh, but what is holding you back from being that juggernaut that we saw in Madden 18? <laughs> I'd say balanced offense. I just I, I can't run the ball, man. I don't know what it is. Every running back I get, like every season, I'm down to my fourth string running back, no matter who it is. And and I thought I was getting away from Kareem Hunt when I did that. And then the next guy was hurt. The next guy's hurt. The next guy's hurt. I'm literally every season you'll see my fourth string running back is getting significant playing time. And I think I've had one game where I've had a rusher over 100 yards. That's insane. That's crazy uh, to hear you say and, that, especially coming from you. And so when you when you can't have a balanced attack, it's pretty easy to get shut down when somebody stops the pass and you're like, all right, now what? Yeah. These two yard runs ain't cutting it. <laughs> and so um, so how long does Mahomes hang on to this roster? Oh, he ain't going nowhere. He, he, I mean, he's, he's got a cannon. He stays healthy, knock on wood. Y'all trying to catch me slipping. Uh, but, I mean, he did miss some games, and, and that definitely affected me last season because I had uh, Kaiser backing him up, which he didn't play too bad. Uh, but I think Mahomes, Mahomes is safely in place. Well, I was hoping you was going to say he, he's available because, um, <laughs> you know, we, we, got some, we got some picks we'll throw at you for Patrick Mahomes. Um, and, and, and so if Patrick Mahomes is the guy, do you have the running back on the roster that you think can at least lead this team going forward? Because you, Patrick Mahomes is the second lead rusher on this football team with 86 yards. So that that's saying a lot. And I know you talked about injuries, and you got looks like you got 36 guys that all have a carry on this football team. <laughs> um, but Brett Clark is your is your main guy, and of course he's hurt right now. But yeah. he's only got 21 carries on the year. Are you focused on the run game, or are you just pass happy this year? Uh, no, nah, I'm pass happy because I'm, every time I try and run, it's just getting stopped. Whether it's a sweep or a trap or a stretch or a dive, like everything is getting shut down. And I think that's a, a, that's my fault for not building my line properly. I got a really good stud left tackle, and, and he's solid, but it, it, it doesn't help the rest of the guys out. So I, I don't know. I think it's a balance of both. Um, Clark Clark is a really tough runner, but he gets hurt so fast, man, so fast. So, so you talk about your defense struggling, um, mm. and, and see, all these things are just crazy to hear come out of KP's mouth because you, you in Madden 18, you relied on your defense to set your yeah. offense up there in Detroit. What is it on this defense? Is it is it scheme? Is it the talent of the guys on the roster? Um, is it just that the gameplay is so much different? What is holding this defense back from being special? Uh, I will say – probably an investment in corner uh, I never really value corner in my system but it's yeah. more valuable in this Madden than ever uh, for for my system anyway so um, usually I could just get by with having like beast linebackers so that way I can have you know 
cover the runs, but also keep them in pass coverage. So you can keep a lot of the same players on the field. But now when I'm in my nickel, that slot corner is getting abused or the outside. It's, it's somebody's always dropping the ball. And that's because I don't think I got a corner over 77. Uh, so it's a little bit of corner and then it's a little bit of the pass rush. Because I noticed a huge drop off when I let Justin Houston walk. I was like, you know what? He's old. I don't really value left end. I don't really use left end like that. I ain't worried about it. Right. Next thing you know, I went eight and eight for the first time. And I was like, oh, shit. Yeah. yeah <laughs> and then I'm like, I want, I want Brandon Graham. I want, I want short. <laughs> trying to get all them Eagles to join the roster. Listen, if you can't get a pass rush, you are dead in Madden in 19. That's just, it's just facts. Because if quarterbacks can stand back, wide receivers find a way to get open. All right, let's talk schedule before we let you get out of here. After the bye week, you now have the Colts coming up. Um, all, always dangerous because you never know which Colts user you're going to get. He, he can put up points or he comes out and lays an egg. And and then sandwiched in between that Colts and that Broncos game, two games that I know you expect to win, you got two very tough opponents. You got Sweets 99 and the 49ers, and then you got the Raiders and Tone Dog. Uh, and, and I know we talk like the Chiefs are struggling, but you're three and two. You, you, you're in a position that these next four games are crucial. In those four games, what does the record have to be for the Chiefs to make a run for the playoffs? Uh, it can be two and two if and only if those two wins are versus the Raiders and the Broncos. Other than that, I really got to try and go three and one. Uh, anything other than that is going to be pretty tough to climb out of the hole. Yeah, and you got a very, very tough schedule on this back half. It's uh, unreal. You, you got you got Sweets 99, who's been in an NFC Championship game several times. You got a division winner in the Raiders twice. You have a Super Bowl champion in Andy Force with the Chargers. You got my Jaguars. You got SJ and the Texans. And then you got Rich and the Cardinals. And then you end with King Vitamin, who's always dangerous, and the Rams. Is this pack half of this schedule because that's like <laughs> some murderer's row right there? Yeah, like, it's no joke. It's, uh, when you looked at the at the back schedule, did you say, okay, we got we got to come out on fire these first five games because this back half of this season is going to be tricky. Exactly. It, it, it's literally. I mean, when you have that many divisional games in a row, you got five five weeks of divisional games. That's absolutely insane. Yeah. Uh, and, and then, you know, throw you in between, then we get another one, and then Texans, cars, ramp, and it's like, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's going to be really tough to uh, stretch that out. I'm going to have to get my stuff together and see if I can get a balanced game going because that that's definitely going to be a, a tough stretch right there. Okay. Do we see the Chiefs back in the playoffs? Yes. No hesitation. We've got to be there. This season. This season. The Chiefs this season. put it back in the playoffs. Do we see KP hang another banner in Madden 19? Uh, You've been on the bye week several times. You've always been very confident in your game. Yeah. Do you feel I, like you are banner ready for Madden 19? Because you and I both have dusty banners in my OG Chris Murray voice. We have dusty banners. That is very true. Yeah, I mean, if our uh, banners are dusty, though, his banner has got holes in it, and you can't even tell what team he used. That's how old his banner is. He's got patches on it. Yeah. It's barely Yeah, they've, it's had, they've had to pull it down and re <laughs> remaster it. Yeah. Do we see yeah. Casey's name on another banner in Madden 19? Yes. I think I think I can pull one out. Uh, I... I I think I'll make a deep run this season, and then next season, I think you guys will see a different KP coming in. Okay. I like, I like to hear that. All right, man. Anything you got for the dynasty before you get out of here? Stop YouTubing, y'all. I see y'all. You know who you are. Uh, how can you tell <laughs> when someone YouTubes? Like, uh, how broken is Madden 19? It's trash, but I mean everybody. <laughs> everybody plays the trash, so you can't blame it on the game. Oh, we go. You know what? Well, I got a second. This is what we're gonna tell y'all. Yes, go ahead. Stop complaining about the game when you lose. I'm tired of it. Oh, I dropped a wide open one. Oh, yeah, but you're not saying that when they dropped that interception you threw. 
you're like, oh, no, he just got bad hands. No, that's the same thing on the other side. Just as bad as you don't go in your favor, it goes in your favor. Yeah, it exactly. all evens out, man. It, it's but it is trash. Them shoestring tackles gotta go. Yeah. For real. Oh my god. You know what? There's some. I, I we could we could do a whole show on what has to go in Madden 19. Uh, we don't just, have enough time for that. But uh, shoestring tackles are the worst, especially when you have a speed wide receiver that catches the ball running away from a defensive tackle. Uh, and, and a D it, tackle, that's right. <laughs> and uh, instead of you getting 26 yard run, you get a three yard run. Uh, yeah, that's that's pretty bad. Or you know what I love? I love it when someone brings a blitz and your left tackle stands there and gives them a high five on the way past him to sack your quarterback. That's, they literally turn their head. <laughs> that is the best for me. Like, you know, I had it happen today in in several games where the left tackle is blocking nobody, and here comes the linebacker. And he literally does nothing but stand there and give him a high five. But you're right. It goes both ways. It happens on both sides of the football. My thing is, just put GGs in the chat right after the game, whether you win or lose. I mean, be salty, but be salty on your own. Um, I be pissed off sometimes. Tight work kicked my butt today. But I, I'm going to put GGs in the chat as soon as the game is over. All right, yeah, KP. I'll throw it out there. I'll definitely throw it out there. You got to be respectful of your opponent at least. If someone needs to buy a house in your area in the virginia area how can they get a hold of kp the real estate agent hey y'all you can dm me even if it's not even in my area uh there's been people in our chat you can ask them to come to me and i've given them help advice you know what to do what to look for what questions to ask even if, if it ain't even got nothing to do with man i still look out for y'all man so y'all can dm me anytime and i'll be there that's why we love the homie KP is one of the best guys. He's been an OG. He's been around here a long time. Uh, and, and he's got those dusty banners hanging in the, in the rafters. But you're going to have a new one hanging soon. I can't wait to see it. Appreciate you jumping on the bye week, KP. Hey, thanks for having me. All right, man. Be blessed. All right, guys. That is KP and those Kansas City Chiefs. You heard from Kirk and the Packers today. That is another episode of the bye week. On behalf of the DML Network, it's your boy, Expert, and I'm out.